Kim Jong-un, the ruler of North Korea, rarely ventures outside his country, but when he does, he travels on a rail in what is known as a moving fortress, the Tyango. Currently departing Pyongyang, his destination is Vladivostok in Russia, where he will meet with Vladimir Putin. The journey spans over 1,000 kilometers and will take around two days. Given Kim's numerous enemies, the Tyango employs extensive security measures to ensure his safety. Only a select few North Koreans have access to the regular internet. While most viewers can access various websites, NordVPN offers a solution to bypass geoblocks and access content from different regions. Additionally, it aids in finding the best prices on platforms like Booking.com. NordVPN provides a secure online journey by protecting against leaks and harmful trackers. The Tyan Go is accompanied by two additional trains, with one serving as a security advance, checking for dangers on the tracks, and the other securing the rear with heavily armed personnel. A helicopter scouts the area ahead. The train has reinforced bulletproof windows, hardened walls and bottom to withstand explosions, and multiple compartments carrying heavy weaponry. It can fight back against aerial attacks with anti-aircraft missiles and has a helicopter for Kim's escape if defenses fail. The train, equipped with an office, reception room, meeting room, and even a restaurant, ensures Kim has everything he needs to govern while on the move. The interior features an eclectic style, with various colors and patterns. Life on board is not dull, with singers serenading Kim personally. When disembarking, two armored Mercedes limousines await him. Train travel holds significance in the Kim family, with the Kim Il-sung Palace housing life-size models of their personal train carriages. The train tradition began as a safety measure, partly due to Kim jong ils reported fear of flying. The Tyango's journey to meet Putin emphasizes the train's role as a symbol of North Korea's power and isolation. While serving propaganda purposes, the train also reflects the country's deep seclusion. The meeting with Putin in Vladivostok is significant, possibly involving Russia's need for ammunition and allies in its conflict with Ukraine. North Korea, in return, may receive technical support for its nuclear weapons program. The Tyango is not just a symbol of power, but also a sign of North Korea's isolation, a fact that Vladimir Putin may acknowledge when considering a visit to Kim Jong-un and his very own ghost train.